Hey guys, it's for then today I've come up with a day in my life video cuz so many people have been requesting for this and I've already done a day in my life video earlier so if you want you can go check that out. But this one is a little different as we don't go out these days and we've been quarantined so nobody goes out. If you want you can go check that video out. So it's early in the morning, the prayer time. It's around 15 minutes after the prayer. and the streets are all empty nobody goes out these days and the mosques are shut so in the morning also there's nobody and as the mosques are shut we do the prayer at home we do it together at home and after the prayer it comes around 5:30 and then after that we don't sleep because we also have classes starting at 7:50 the online classes are at 7:50 so we don't sleep So what we do is eat breakfast but before eating the breakfast we have dates and water we have full glass of water and dates i've done this in my earlier video also i've said why uh, because it's really good in the morning into your em- empty stomach you can have some water and dates it's really beneficial for your health and after that we have the breakfast so around after 20 to 30 minutes the breakfast will be ready and we all have the breakfast There is not a lot prepared for breakfast. It's just chutney and ghee roast with coffee, and we also had some leftover chicken curry. So heated it up in the morning, and after around an hour, our classes start. So before that, we have to start preparing for it, doing last day's homeworks and stuff. And after that, the class starts. So for my brother, the online classes lately just started. and for me also the online classes started way earlier than it did for him because for 10th grade classes start earlier it's kind of just like school but then you sit in front of the computer and you learn that's just the difference the teacher teaches like normally she does at school we have to log in into each class and the teacher just teaches it's just like normal classes but kind of more confusing than normal school and the notes we get it from email and also through whatsapp and a few of the teachers show slides like most of the teachers show slides and we're supposed to write it down from them so i sit in my room and write my brother does it in his room and i've put my room tour if you want you can go check that out also then my younger brother he's just in 5th grade so he doesn't have the zoom classes actually but his videos and the classes come through whatsapp and then you just need to see the videos and study it and also write down the notes he doesn't have the zoom classes it's just through whatsapp the teachers send the videos and teach through whatsapp and also in between we have some free periods so just decided to prepare a few snacks i'm going to be making butter cookies right now just to eat while the classes are going on just to have a snack so i've already uploaded the recipe for these butter cookies if you want you can go check them out it's really simple all you need is just all purpose flour butter sugar and that's it you don't need any other ingredients and they're super delicious You can go check the recipe out. It's there in my channel and these are also called shortbread cookies. All you got to do is cream the butter with the sugar and then add in the all purpose. Sometimes you can also add in corn flour if you want. It makes the cookies more soft. You just got to mix all these ingredients up together and then you'll get a dough.
you just need to knead this dough up really well. And then you have to roll it in between parchment paper so you can prevent the parchment paper from sticking by pouring some water so the parchment paper is not gonna slip off keep it in between parchment paper roll it out and then cut it into shapes that you like you can use a cookie cutter for that or just any normal round circle cutter will also do fine Cut it off with the cookie cutter just like that. And I also like poking a few holes in between of them. And you can also do a variety of shapes and just poke it using a fork or anything that you like. Any shape you like, then bake it out and the cookies are going to be ready after baking them. And I also made a cake last day. It's a carrot cake. It's a carrot and nuts cake. I caught a video. So the video is going to come up soon so you guys can go check it out. It's a really soft and delicious cake and especially fruit cakes if you keep them for another day they're going to be more delicious. And these days I'm not uploading a lot of frosted cake recipes because it's a little hard to find frosting like whipping cream. It's hard to find whipped cream so just do normal cake recipes. We went to a market a few days ago and this was the situation. It was a big queue when you need to keep distance between each person and stand in the big queue. And also in the counters, it was the same way. It took a lot of time, so we didn't even enter the market. And these are some preventive coronavirus measures. And you can also use a mask. Coronavirus is not airborne, but still it's good to use a mask to prevent touching your mouth so that any germs go in. So after all that, it's gonna be time for lunch. And the meals are not actually prepared, but I just had a free period. So I just heated up whatever was there in the kitchen and had it and not much to do so after that it's just dinner and we sleep by eight o'clock because it's just boring and there's nothing to do and for dinner it was just chapati and chana and all those types of food and then we also had some fruits and that's it for today's video i hope everybody liked it it's a pretty boring routine because there's nothing much to do but if you like the video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Love cooking. Bye-bye.